What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Flash video. The replay from the ladder here on the channel, guys. Flash spawning down here in the bottom right. Jadong in the bottom left. I saw that there was another couple of games played between these two. As well as a few games versus Royal, which I've covered before. So I thought we'd just revisit these two matchups and throw it all into one video usually i do just one matchup or um you know all tvt or all tvz or all tvp uh, or just two players but this one i'm gonna mix it up a little bit we're gonna throw together a whole bunch of games tvt and tvz so strap in grab yourself a drink get yourself a little snack right now and we're gonna check out how this man flash is doing on ladder right now this was played on the 21st i believe of yes 21st of june in 2024 so really really recent games and these two played against each other if you haven't seen that video i'll link it but these two played against each other uh on the 17th i did a video about that five game series between the two of them and I think the final score was heavily Flash favored. I won't reveal that to you guys if you haven't seen it yet. You can go check that out now. Come back and uh, see this one after. This is the follow-up here. But now for sure, I think we saw uh, from the video that Jadong didn't know that it was Flash when he was playing against him last time. But you know for sure, this at this point, he knows. He is well aware that he's playing up against flash here and flash is opening with a cc first again so he did this multiple times against zerg players recently and he's pulling it out for another go here we're gonna throw down a, a barracks over in the natural but the full wall in will come here this is a great spot uh, for this type of play here we've only got the one little gap at the top of this this uh, supply depot to deal with and the marines are going to pop out on the inside so this is very nice for flash he's going to get this wall down and this is a 12 hatch out of jadong so the punishment is real he is not going to be able to put on much pressure at this point he'll go into uh, a bunch more drones he actually builds two links or one set of links here Possibly just to come across and uh, put on a little bit of pressure. This drone has been quite annoying. Hasn't gotten a kill yet, but it's done a pretty good job of damaging that first SCV. Now going to go ahead and scurry back home. Four lings are going to be out and ling speed on the way. Are we going to see 2.5 hatch out of Jadong here? That's what I'm imagining we're going to see. But... I'm very curious now what Flash will be doing. Is it going to be another mech build? It's kind of looking that way. He's saving up gas. And he's moving out. Is it mech? Dude, he's doing mech again. What? Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Another opportunity to watch Flash play CC first into mech. Will he go for double uh, armory again? He pulled it off versus Jadong uh, not too long ago in that last video I was talking about earlier, but it's so crazy to do something like that. It's just completely wild. Lings are gonna try to run in here. Not a great targeting, not great targeting from Flash to actually uh, kill off specific Lings, but looks like he will block this from getting into the main. He loses, what, two, three Marines? And he loses, or he uh, kills off all four Lings. More lings are going to be made right now. Send out across the map. That's been spotted by Flash. Flash going to lose that SCV. Spire is on the way. Armory, is it ready here? Can't click this. Armory is coming up here as well. Second factory. Overlord flits into the main here just for a moment and does see the factories. So how is he going to react here? Now that he knows that it's a mech build, what is Jadon going to be pulling out? A bunker here at the front. 
A little bit afraid of losing control of the front here. Flash. Jump in the bunker. Here we go. He gets inside there. Got to block these lings from running by into the main. Blocking a little bit off here for Flash. So some... Uh, Jadong lings are going to get into this main base and potentially fight the marines as they come back here to start to deal with this. A lot of SCVs are being transferred over to the natural right now. Lings are going to get on top of these SCVs. He gets another kill. One more SCV goes down. But we've got the double factory finished and two Goliaths are about to pop out here. We're going to start the turrets now. Just trying to delay those as much as possible. Very annoying stuff here from Jadong. There's the... Uh, oh, he loses that. That's rough. Got to get those turrets up in time. Really, really important that he gets that up. Kind of a cool move by Jadong to get in there right as the turrets were supposed to be getting thrown down and dealing a little bit of damage, but he doesn't prevent the turrets from coming up here, and we're going to have four Goliaths in a moment. Plus, that kite, uh, Charon booster upgrade is going to be coming here, and he did spend quite a bit of lings, quite a bit of larva is the important part to do that early aggression. So, his third base is quite late here, and... Flash is at 31 SCVs. He's got a lot of SCVs right now, guys. Don't know what to tell you. Looking very, very good right now. Will he add on a second armory? It would be pretty crazy at this point. Diving on top of the turrets right now. Targeting down uh, these mutas one by one. And moving towards the uh, turrets here. But he's losing most of his Goliaths right now. A lot of these have gone down. And more Goliaths are going to fall. Extra turret being added on right now. We have the Karam Booster upgrade finished at this point. Academy is coming up. Goliaths are going to get tracked down. More turrets being built. But this is some good movement by Jadong. Diving in at the precise moment when he can start to overwhelm here. Missile turrets are going to finish up, though. Flash stabilizes for another moment. Two more turrets. Finishing. A third is going to be cancelled here. Barracks under threat right now, but... Goliaths, with their massive range, able to pick away at those. Have any upgrades here? No, but plus one attack is on the way. Going to be finished here soon. Plus one armor is what's going to finish up for Flash in a moment. Still picking away at this barracks, but Flash there with the repair. And the Goliaths to ward those away. You can't stay in range of those Goliaths for too long. They will uh, just get an insane amount of damage going onto those Mutas. And if the Mutas get too low here, we could see Flash actually move across the map and put on a lot of pressure. Barracks coming up behind this. Very interesting decision here to switch into Marine Medic play behind this. I think I saw... I I think it was Mind who did this uh, more recently. But I can't quite recall. Um, I don't think it was Flash who pulled this out. Yeah, I really think it was Mind who went for something like this. Big Marine Goliath number. And trying to go across the map. Just busting open the Zerg before they had any lurkers. Um, hard to get in here and actually spot this. With the Goliaths, this is the thinking. is The Goliaths have such range. That it's very hard to dip all the way in to see the actual barracks being produced. So, he's back at home. He's just making a ton of mutas right now. Whereas Flash is going to be popping out just a massive number of Marines. Then gearing up for this big attack. Now flying in here, he sees the medics. That was a huge scout. Are we going to be throwing down Hydroden right now? Just pure Mutalisks here. Now I did see, I think it was that Mind game. Mind game, that's kind of funny. But a game versus Mind where... Uh, I believe it was so someone like Hero. Uh, yeah, this this is this is taking me back. I think this was in a pro league that we watched recently. 
the Deterrent player went for this Goliath uh, Marine style. And the Zerg went pure Muta, but that was on Eclipse when you could grab uh, two gases up in the top left corner. And with the four gas, suddenly, he was able to overwhelm. I think it might have even been five gases that he managed to accrue. Um, he was able to overwhelm with pure Muta, but here he doesn't have that uh, extra gas luxury. He's going to have to throw down a bunch of sunken colonies and build as many Mutas as possible. He's managed to spend all of his money at least, and he's getting on top of the rally point right now. But will he be able to get back in time to help out the sunken colonies here? Marines are going to start to chop through them. And the uh, Mutas that are here are going to get wrecked very, very quickly. These Mutas are going down super, super fast. The Mutas that have come back here to try and assist are disappearing quickly as well. Now well, there's not too many uh, Goliaths left over, but the Mutalist count is thinning out very quickly. And Marines are going to be rallying forward here. It looks like he's done it. Flash has taken out Jadong with a very interesting Goliath. Marine play. You love to see it. This is, like I said, a play that um, has been pulled out before. It's not nothing completely groundbreaking, but it's not something that we see very regularly here in 2024. This is like an old school build um, that only gets mixed in very infrequently against Zerg players. So. Uh, especially Zerg players who uh, will respond to mass Goliath play with that mass Mutalisk. Uh, at, you know, immediately upon seeing that, they see mass Goliath, they see that mech play, they just go right into, uh, into Mutas. The Marine switch is very strong against that. Jadong fell right into the trap here and Flash takes game number one. Let's jump into game number two. All right, here we go. I literally just casted this and I didn't press the record button. So <laughs> we're going to do this again. Flash down here in the bottom right. It happens sometimes, guys. It does happen now. And then I'll just double check. Yes, we are recording. I don't know what button I accidentally pressed to stop the recording or to like... Um, when I went to go press the recording or re press record, I must have clicked somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know. But here we are. We've got Flash starting out with a Rax here. Rather than going for the CC first, he's just going to go into a Rax expand. A little bit different than that last game. Not opting to go for CC first, but he could have gotten away with it. He easily could have gotten away with it once again. Interesting that we're going to have this mine from the natural. I don't know what that's all about. I guess he sent that out to mine just in case the SCV came in right at that timing so that he could possibly counter a barracks coming. I don't know exactly uh, why he decided to do that, but that's interesting. Uh, we also saw some drones come out before the gas gets thrown down, so he's definitely going for a 2.5 hatch this game. Um, yeah, I I'm not sure. I've never seen... I've never noticed players go for a hatch first and then send one drone out and have it. Maybe he sent it out to to go scout. And then as soon as he saw the overlord or the overlord saw the natural, he just turned it turned it and mined one mineral from the uh, natural. Hmm. Interesting. Well, with this nice little wall in, Flash is going to be totally safe. He's got the SCV in the main base, so he knows he doesn't need much. Command Center going to come down here behind this. And he can just easily hang out behind this wall with not too much pressure that Jadon can actually put on him here in this early game. Now, what will be the follow-up here for Flash? How is he going to transition this? Is he going to go for another mech play? Or will he do something a little bit more standard? Will he go for an eBay? Maybe a, you know, quick plus one or something like that. No, a factory. Once again here in the main base. Another mech build potentially from Flash. Very interesting stuff. He's really favoring the mech play. 
And there's that 2.5 hatch coming down now for Jadon. Gonna be dropping that. Uh, I was really trying to stop that SCV from scouting him. Be getting that Spire here pretty soon. And the second gas as well. Of course, he has the Overlord over this natural, but a little bit of a Marine move out. May have forced some extra Lings. Yeah, we're going to make four at least just to make sure we're safe here. Second gas coming. No move out, of course, here for Flash because he didn't go for a two racks play. Not really any way for Jadong to know that, aside from that there's not that many Marines in the natural here. He's not sure what's coming as a follow-up to this, but he's pretty sure it's not gonna be that five minute push. Doesn't need any sunken colonies here at the front. Spreading out lings everywhere, looking for an SCV out on the map. Don't have a drone headed out for third base just yet. But that's probably going to be coming here soon. He actually sends a drone here to make a creep colony. A little bit surprising. Having that right at the five minute mark. But yeah, as the Marines are not pushing out here, you can easily just cancel that. He's going to send that drone over towards 12 or top left. All right, sending it up here to 12. And maybe a Hydralis Defiler game here that we're seeing out of Jadong. Still doesn't have information about what's coming. But it's going to be a Valkyrie build out of Flash. With follow-up barracks behind this. And a few medics are going to pop out here. Which will allow him to start pushing forward if he wants to. But I think he'll just sit and wait as we don't have range yet. Stimpak just about to be done. There's that first... Valkyrie popping out and six, five mutas. Five mutas are coming across the map and a pair of Scourge. Look at that. Five, uh, one pair of Scourge right now. That's an amazing addition here, realizing that there might be uh, a Valkyrie coming here from Flash. Adding on that extra Scourge is amazing, but will Flash allow those Scourge to connect here? If he does pick that off, uh, it's going to be huge. Flying right through. Sees everything. The Mutas are kind of trapped back here right now. Can he get the connection on the Scourge? No target onto those Scourge just yet with the Mutas. Or with the Marines. Well, maybe he gets it here. Oh, he picks it off. But loses two Mutas. And almost loses a few more of these as well. A lot of them very, very low. I keep clicking the same one. Okay, that's 80. That's 35. Very, very low here. Really good pickoff, though, by Jadong to get that first Valkyrie. It's just a shame that he took so much damage from the Marines and Valkyrie there. Now a second Valkyrie is out. Second gas is going to be added on. Will we switch into full-on uh, SK Terran style from this position? What's the follow-up play here from Flash? He's starting to move out now with two Valkyries. It's going to get pretty tough to take a fight against this. Uh, he's adding on a machine shop here. Could be going into a tank play. This is very fantasy-esque. It's really looking like a fantasy build here. Ooh, almost flies into those Scourge with the Valkyries. If Jadong had been a little bit more on top of that, he could have definitely gotten a Valkyrie there. But he unfortunately was not. He eats a big volley. And now it's two Valkyries with a third coming forward. It's super hard to engage with this many Valkyries now. It's going to be near impossible to take a good fight. He does catch up to the reinforcement line. Might be able to get one connection here, but oh my goodness. The Valkyries just ruin these Mutalists. All of them going down so quickly here. Five kills on this Valkyrie. Two on this one. All of those potentially Mutalist kills. Gonna head straight over here towards the 12 o'clock. And I think that Jadong is just about out of this. It's so interesting to see Flash play in this style. So reminiscent of fantasy, but... Really, really interesting. How well he's able to kind of just dis dismantle Jadong here. 
Okay, Don, gonna take a little bit of a fight on some of these reinforcements. He's got a lot of Scourge to try and snipe these four Valkyries. Four Valkyries is so much damage, guys. We do have plus one armor, but with this many, it's nigh impossible, man. Very close to impossible to take this fight efficiently. He tries to come out and get another connection with the Scourge on the Valkyries, but just cannot make it happen. Everything getting forced back. And with the third base gone and only 25 workers remaining, there's no hope here for Jadon. is going to pull the trigger on an attack here. Even if this kills everything, uh, it probably still wouldn't be a good position, but it doesn't kill everything. Three Valkyries remain. A ton of Mutalists or a ton of Marines left over and the Mutas get driven back. GG is called. Flash takes another game off of Jadon. His record against Jadon at this point looking really really good here in 2024 it's hard to believe that flash is the one coming back from the military in a long hiatus and jadon's the one who's been here practicing and playing in asl for the past few years kind of crazy to even think about that but there you have it jadon gets wiped out we're gonna jump into some flash versus royal guys that's coming up next all right hopping into this tvt we've got royal here in the bottom left hand corner flash over here in the bottom right and you know royal did get a bunch of wins over flash in our previous video um th these were actually all played concurrently all the games that we're watching right now are played concurrently so i guess this is a continuation of that earlier video I was just a little bit quick to jump on this series um, and I did check after the series was done or after I, I watched all the videos to make sure that there weren't any more games but there was actually another three games that were played a little bit later they just weren't showing up on seawall at the time that I was looking so this is the continuation here will flash be able to adapt to what Royal was bringing out earlier on in the series or will Royal continue to dominate Flash here? I expect domination. I expect Royal to keep winning. Just because, you know, Flash is rusty here. And Royal is right at the tippy top of his game. He is performing super, super well lately. He knows that this is Flash, uh, I imagine, uh, at this point. And... He is not going to let him take any wins off of him if he can at all help it. Uh, he's going to be playing absolute lightning speed here at nearly 400 APM. And we're getting the totally even builds right now to start things out. Absolutely the same two builds here. So, you know, it's TVT. What can I say? I'm going to speed this up a little bit. You guys know that I can rant pretty darn well. I can uh, put a few sentences together, but let's go ahead and speed things up here for this TVT just for a moment. Looks like Royal actually gets the earlier CC down. He starts that before he gets a factory. Oh, wait a second. He doesn't have a gas. All right, let's 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 slow it back down again. <laughs> what am I saying? I thought this was exactly the same. I thought, was there not a gas? Okay, I gotta hand in my caster card here, guys. I honestly thought that I saw a gas in Royal Space, but somebody's gotta take my license away. We made a mistake. Now, gas is fast expand here for Royal against the uh, earlier factory from Flash. This is exactly the opposite of how the earlier games went, how, f like, all the other games went, I, if I remember correctly, was Flash was the one generally going for the early expansion without the gas, and then Royal was the one putting on pressure. This time, the opposite is true. A bunker is going to be started here. A factory will be laid down very soon for Royal. And we're going to get that Vulture coming across the map here. Do we have... Are we, will, we, will we be placing another building here just to wall this off? I imagine so. It's already a great wall. If we just add one more building, it'll be a perfect wall in. And we won't be able to see any vultures sneaking by here. 
doing any extra damage. An add-on. We're going to go into Mines, Vultures, and the CC are coming behind this. But I would say that Royal has a slight advantage here right now. It's not massive. It's not huge. Surprised to see he's not added two factories. We may be seeing a starport after this first factory. Goes ahead and throws down that machine shop immediately. Will we get the starport? Not just yet. There. Are, no. Actually, no. No starport. Second factory. Maybe he's uh throwing flash for a loop here. Because I really would have imagined a second factory. Wow, a starport down here? That's a funny proxy. Just trying to get the vultures into the main a little bit quicker. It's not that much faster than placing in your main, but it will get him in just a, t just a smidge faster. So maybe it's worth it here. How many kills can he get in this main base? With his initial four vultures, there's really not much here for Royal right now. I think this might actually do an insane amount of damage. We've got one tank on the way here. No, it's a vulture. A vulture on the way right now. So, two more vultures are going to pop out, but they don't have speed. Another factory here in the natural. That's funny. He's gone for a lot of vultures here, and he's trying to hide them. But everything's going to be revealed now when Flash flies into the main base and starts to kill probes. The Vultures will have to be brought up here to deal with this. But Flash is going to target down uh, SCV after SCV here doing so much damage. I can't even count. I'm not even going to bother to try and count how many were actually killed here. But he's definitely made it worth it. Look at how many SCVs are left at this point. Flash is in an advantage here, and he's setting up an engineering bay wall at the front. Dude, this is amazing. Royal was planning to uh, have a big timing here with the hidden factories three going into three fact to just overwhelm with vultures. And look what he finds over at Flash's base. A sick wall in with two tanks behind it. That uh, counterattack does nothing here. Absolutely nothing. A Wraith is going to pop out. That can come over and start to deal damage as well. A little bit surprised that he doesn't send that in immediately because he could delay this armory um, a little bit if he wanted to go that route. Instead, the Wraith just going to sit over here. That's a bit of a mistake, but it's fine. Bosch has been playing a brilliant game thus far. Oh, don't lose the barracks. Potential for a third CC coming down here for Royal. Pretty close to ready for that. Has map control right now with the uh, large amount of vultures out here. But he doesn't have mines for the moment. Got Wraith moving around the top side. Hasn't taken any damage, but he's just not quite taking this fight yet. Okay, there we go. Drop into the main once again. Did he actually did he actually do it? I might have missed that. We might have to picture and picture something there. Vulture's coming over here, laying down mines, but the tank count is real right now for Flash. Will he try to take this space? I think that would be really smart. If he takes this, then he gets to keep the starport there. He's actually gonna move out into the middle of the map, and this might be the opportunity for Royal to run around and Dip into the natural here. Deal some damage. No scan just yet. We're all just going to go ahead. Take another base now. The dropship back here in the natural. Wraith going to start to deal with this barracks. Floating over his little lake here in the middle. Flash, he looks like he's getting ready to set up a big containment right now rather than try to push in. But that's not going to favor him too well if, you know, Roll's already got a third base up. Let's see, he's moving over towards that third base. Oh, don't need any of these mines. They're so close. So close. One of them going to pop up here. That one doesn't connect. This one might connect. No, it does not. 
Oh, that one definitely hit the tank over here. Flash, gotta be really careful with how he's moving this army. Holy crap, that's so close. Coming up towards the natural here. It is really, really risky to be pushing like this right now, but he is gonna get in here. One tank on high ground, really nice positioning on that. But the tank count overall, pretty overwhelming here for Flash. One SCV comes up just to assist, but more tanks on high ground. I don't think this push is gonna work out too well for Flash. Wraith, can I get the kill? Okay, looks like it will get the kill. Not in time to save the tank, but he will get that kill nonetheless. Third base gonna be coming up here shortly. Third base already mining for Royal though. Flash getting up a nice containment spot here. You can spread out your tanks really, really wide right there. And over here as well. You can end up in a great position. Whoa, this is interesting. He's spreading out tanks over on the top side here. That's going to deny the uh, vulture run by from Flash. I mean, maybe he can get a couple vultures up here. But with the Goliath and a couple vultures of Royal. I don't think he's even going to get one kill. Okay, got one kill. Yikes. Flash is looking to be in a bit of a predicament right now. Can he actually win this? I mean, Royal is pushed pretty far backwards here. Oh, he's going to push into the main. Oh, this is so interesting. It's like this tank. I'm going to be able to kill the tank here on the low ground. Can he get the triple shot off on the tank? Wow, a lot of missed shots here. We will pick that off though eventually. Most of these tanks are very low. Within one shot of death. Wraiths have that cloak. So he does dominate the air still here. But this is a risky play. Pushing into the main base of Royal. He does get rid of this factory here at least. Which is pretty good. You're going to continue to siege up here. Can he kill this tank? No, just barely out of range right there. Uh, wow, a Valkyrie shows up as well. So interesting that he built a Valkyrie here. When Goliath arrives, we'll push back the air army here. Can we actually like leapfrog into the main? I don't see that dropship. He's not bringing units up in here. I thought maybe he would... Start dropping tanks over here or something. But he's avoiding that direct conf confrontation just for now. Hasn't repaired these tanks either, despite having an SCV. So those two tanks that were low on that HP are going to end up going down um, pretty quickly here. That is unfortunate for Flash, but he's continuing to put on the pressure. Vultures are going to slip out onto the map. He's trying to push in. Oh my goodness, is this really gonna work? I, I can't imagine that it will. Yeah, I feel like we lost so much there as Flash. Pushing into this little choke right here. Why are we trying to win right now? We've got a really nice position. And we're three base to three base. Vultures are gonna slide around. Make sure that there's not any extra bases out on the map. This will get caught here. Maybe it can get in and get a couple of SCV kills, though. It's really on Royal right now to break out of here. He's going to try from the high ground to kill these two tanks, and I think he will get double kill on these. Yeah, he instantly kills those two. One attack, or one attack here from Royal Zero for Flash. He will have plus one attack soon, but plus two is almost done here for Royal. So there's a real chance that Royal can just bust out of this. And if he gets out on the map, I think the Flash might be done for. Yeah, only plus one finishing up here. That's crazy. Flash really banked a lot on taking over this position and making some sort of play into the main base, but he never brought that dropship forward. I'm really shocked that he didn't start, like, putting uh, tanks up here that can be covered from the low ground. And you can start to hit all these supply depots and 
the starports down there in the main base spreading out right now heading up towards that 12 o'clock position double expansion right now from royal royal looking to be in a very nice spot here as he expands out aggressively oh flying over here into the main base gonna clear out all of the air army that was a great trade from flash is suddenly flying in he wipes everything out and he will be able to back up heal all of those air units and continue to dominate uh, the field in the air here but meanwhile i mean Royal is just going to have so much economy here in a moment. Is it even going to matter? Tanks moving into the middle. The position is still very good for Flash. But half the map has been claimed for Royal. As long as he holds onto this high ground, he has half the map. Flash is going to send more SCVs out to start taking more expansions. Going to take top right. But this is a big army and plus two is done. Is this the moment now where Royal starts to break into the middle of the map? Flash here, not having a huge army. It's pretty well spread, but it's not as big as Royal's army here. Plus, uh, with the plus two as well. It's gonna be hard to hold this army back. He's gonna come down this ramp now. With most of his army, pretty difficult to get down here. And Flash might be able to take advantage of this by dropping mines on the incoming tanks. Pretty good defense by Royal. Royal going to siege up on the low ground now. Setting up a, a position. He might want to unsiege and go for it here, though. Flash reacting pretty quickly, bringing a lot of his tanks. There's still a pretty big advantage. Defender's advantage. Uh, is one thing, but with this many tanks and the upgrade advantage, oh my god, and that mine connection as well. Yikes. I think there's a good chance that Royal can break out of here. Scanning, checking to see what's available in the air. I'm shocked at how many uh, Valkyries have been made. Crazy amount of Valkyries here. Bus 2 is getting near completion for Flash. Not quite there yet, but it will be soon. More tanks heading up to this top right area, but there's so many weak locations that Flash needs to worry about right now. The middle here on the left, pretty weak. Only about five tanks, four tanks here. I mean, it's a very tight choke, but it's definitely doable, especially with dropships now coming out here. I think Royal is just rocketing ahead at this point. We do have the Valkyries and Wraiths, which if you catch these dropships, they will be annihilated so quickly. It's going to be crazy. Coming up here on the high ground is a good move. Flash doing a similar thing to what uh, his opponent did over here in this position. Sieging up on that little edge. Oh god, they're going to come in. Oh, the air army is not reacting. Oh, this is so unfortunate for Flash. He really wanted to catch these dropships coming in, but... Almost had it with the army here. Really close to that position. Just not there in time, though. And the dropships will escape. More dropships back at home. Six total now. And Flash not able to mine here on the high ground. He's going to have to make a move, it looks like. To try and pick this off. Just inching forward. He's going to kill a couple of tanks for free. Oh, it gets one. But that's it for now. CC going to come down here to low ground. Meanwhile, Royal is just massing up right now. He's basically maxed. And he's moving around the bottom side here with eight... Dropships. Oh, I hear I hear wraiths somewhere. Oh here, okay. Wraiths are here. Drops are coming in. Oh my god, the dropships are gonna get absolutely annihilated. Oh hold on. They oh what is he doing? He's attacking the engineering bay. Oh man, a huge mistake here. 
for Flash, but look at this. He clears up the army regardless. This army gets absolutely wiped. And all the drops go down. So this was a great moment here for Flash. Catching those dropships coming in. He didn't wipe everything out before it unloaded, but he gets the drops and he gets all the army cleared out afterwards. So he's going to be feeling very good. Look at how much supply was lost, man. He, he did start to replenish some of this, but he lost like 40 supply in those drops. So Royal not in as good of a position as he was about 40 seconds ago still could break through any of these spots here this one not looking as breakable anymore maybe with some drops dropping goliaths or vultures on top of this you can clear it but this area right here pretty breakable i would say really focusing on the air battle here really interesting stuff from flash and starting now to add on a few drop ships he's also getting an extra starport tanks here over in the top right trying to be cleared out flash trying to get rid of those now a lot of tanks coming down here what is he doing with these i think this middle area is the the break point here for royal to get out on the map unless maybe we're gonna come through uh, into this top right area Looks like he will break that right now. So many of the tanks are over here, but he can easily move to the high ground over in this position. Wraith's clearing out in that top right, getting rid of those few straggling tanks. Nearly maxed out again, but actually Flash is maxed. I thought that Royal would max first, but here we are. Flash is maxed. More starports going down. Are we going to see BCs this game? It's been such a long time since I casted a bc tvt flying up here towards the top right is he just gonna fly right into all of these oh my god absolutely wrecked here well the tanks at least do get out but this is brutal he's gonna lose all these tanks basically for free able to trade out uh, a couple of units and a couple of turrets and now the wraiths are just gonna kill everything and flash is actually pushing on this side i thought that we were gonna see royal push here in the middle but flash pushes here and royal pushes here dropping scvs on these tanks he might be able to push down here into the six o'clock meanwhile flash is gonna hit the center left a lot of action suddenly uh after a long period of quiet here where Flash is just aggressively shoving over into the top left. Can he actually get on top of these tanks though? The tanks with that plus three attack are ripping these apart. But the unseized tanks of Flash are doing a surprisingly good job here. He cleans up most of that. And down at the bottom center, a lot of SCVs are going down. Over here at the center left, a lot of SCVs going down here as well. The CC may survive. But Flash is pushing up here onto this high ground as well. There's nothing popping out of these starports right now. Does he not have... He does have the physics lab, but he's having a hard time. Oh, a drop coming in right here. Nothing inside that dropship, actually. Never mind. It looks like trading one base here for Flash. For the two bases of Royal, plus all of his production uh, for these starports getting... Uh, pieced apart here is actually insanely big bunch of drops coming in but there's a lot of unseized tanks here for flash to just clear this out and he will clear it this is almost a gg moment we're gonna lose so much we're gonna lose so much there's a few wraiths popping out so maybe he can make this work there is one uh turret coming up Dropship's coming through. He's going to drop on top of this one more time. Can he actually clear this? Looks like he will. Flash is going to be forced back here. He can't get on top of this base either because there's tanks up here. Those are going to go uh, to the wayside. These Valkyries, of course, they want to be sent up here to the top left because there's a bunch of wraiths over there, but they're going to get harried by the Goliath right now. Over here at 6 o'clock, we're nearly out of minerals. 
And let's do a mineral check here overall for Royal. He's got almost nothing here at the center left. Nothing, nothing. And he's not mining in the top left. So he's barely mining right now. 136 supply. Oh, all the Valkyries went down. That I'll definitely have to picture in picture. Pushing over here into the top center. Flash, can he make it work? Just three tanks. Giving him a very hard time as he comes up this ramp. But he breaks through. And he will shut down this base. This was really the, the one mining base that was keeping Royal in this. Because we've still got this base and this base for Flash. With another one coming up here. But Royal is just going to be relegated to this. And he'll have to send all of his SCVs. Oh my god, all the SCVs go down. Never mind. SCVs will not escape. This base has hardly anything left. 37 workers here. Dropping now over towards the natural. Can Royal make this work? Getting on top of the factories can be a killing blow. But against what a huge supply Flash has right now. Can he make it happen? Royal going to dive in. Dropping on top of the tanks here. But fresh tanks pop out all at the same time. One Goliath here. A quick cloak is going to save that for now. Can he actually kill all of these? No. There's still two wraiths left. Ah, oh, and the dropships on the way out get picked off. I think this might be the last hurrah of Royal. He's just about out of this one. He's still got the top left, I guess. There's a few workers up there, but no. GG is called. Flash takes a game off of Royal. What an incredible game here. What an incredible TVT. Fantastically done here by Flash. Um, just that one moment of chaos, that one moment of action where Royal broke out here and Flash broke in here. Uh, all happening at the same time. Flash managed to get in this base. He got in here. He got in here. He just dealt so much damage so quickly. Whereas Royal was struggling to get up uh, into this six o'clock position and shut down that base and then didn't really have anywhere else to go with this army had to send so many dropships up here to clear it was really looking like a royal favorite game up until that moment but flash pulls it out some brilliance here in tvt you can see why this guy is a tvt boss a tvt legend flash taking a game off of royal has he adapted has he figured uh, out how to to take this guy on well we've got a couple more games here let's see if flash can make it happen one more time well, that was a really fun game. I enjoyed watching Flash kind of in a deficit there versus Royal. Find a way to eke out a victory. He did have a lot better map control and sometimes map control can just be the difference maker. Even if you're behind in overall supply, workers, uh, bases. Having that extra map control, controlling the center of the map can be a huge boon more than in any other matchup for tvt and well flash was able to utilize it there very effectively and now we've got here on citadel once again these two going up against each other what will the build choice be here got royal in the blue flash in the red and sending out a early scv towards the middle of the map is he gonna center racks that is a definitive possibility there it is center racks here that is after supply depot though so probably just gonna be a couple of marines built and then float down here to get the full scout similar sort of thing here from flash he's just building it in a bit more of a defensive position will take a little longer to float but it's the same sort of idea here making sure that both have gas <laughs> don't want to make that mistake again they both do indeed have gas um so we're gonna see very similar builds here mirrored builds out of these two. Second supply depot on the way um no second supply depot here just yet for flash 
It's interesting. Oh no, he did build it over here. All right, so yeah, continue on with the mirrored build. One Marine gonna be bought, sent out here. How many Marines will he build? Likewise, what kind of Marine count will we see out of Flash? SCV being sent up here to the top left. Looks like he's gonna get into that main and see that there is uh, barracks missing, so he will know that there must be a rack somewhere out on the map. Let's see if he lifts off after the second Marine here. I don't lift it off quite yet. First Marines making their way over here to the natural. This can get bad for... Uh, oh my gosh, he just wrecked. Just wrecked. Royal there, trying to walk up onto the high ground and two Marines absolutely smoked this. Third Marine gonna come out, but he should win this fight, no problem. The bunker gets completely denied here. More Marine, oh, one more hit there. Does manage to pick that off, but this is definitely a win for Flash. He has a second factory on the way right now. I don't have anything back here for Royal, uh, aside from just a single Vulture popping out, and now the barracks is gonna float. There's gonna be no anti-air here for either side, funnily enough. No Marines at all, so they're both gonna be able to float their respective racks like right into each other's main base and watch out for everything that's being built by either player. Continuing to build vultures here. We don't have the scout of the natural yet. Still no CC. CC here on location being built by Royal. He's going to back up right now. Go into a defensive position because he knows he's going to have less vultures than Flash for sure. Flash looking to take his own natural here. But what can he do with this like one to two vulture advantage that he sh should be able to accrue here? Two more vultures coming out. You can't fight this with four on four. This is not a good choice. We've got to wait for a little bit more of an advantage here. We will wait for those additional vultures to join the pack. Some SCVs are going to be brought down here. He's going to be just one vulture behind where Flash is at. How's the targeting right now? I think the uh, concave here being pretty darn good for uh, Royal. Targeting down as many of the vultures as he can, but good repairs there from Royal to just make those buy a little bit more time. Two more vultures are going to arrive here. It's now five to three, four to three. Just one vulture advantage, but it does add up very quickly. Great repairs once again. Keeping these alive just a little bit longer, and he evens up the vulture count here. This is very, very good for Royal right now. As long as he... Keeps pumping vultures non-stop. He's getting an armory and he's starting a wraith. He's had the earlier CC for a while. He's got even SCV count, but he's mining on more mineral patches. Two Goliaths pop out. And that should be the end of the aggression here from Flash. You cannot take fights with the, the Goliaths in these low numbers. Goliaths are absolutely going to destroy these vultures. Easy clap. Easy cleanup. Oh, oh, wait a second. Maybe if the Goliaths split up and we're able to fight them head on. Oh, okay. Gonna kill the Vulture. Now gonna target down one Vulture or one Goliath while the other Goliath tries to come up here to assist. He is gonna get the kill on this one Goliath pretty handily, but two more show up and he clears out everything. GG is called already. Flash just taps out. Interesting choice there to just tap out here after losing the initial advantage. I feel like there was still a lot of play in this game. A little bit disappointed that Flash decided to tap out here, but he was in a pretty tough spot. He didn't get the damage he needed with the Vultures, and he got a very late CC for his second CC. I think he just kind of underestimated how many SCVs he had in comparison to his opponent, because it was almost dead even. Um, and the factory counts the same. I guess the Wraith was in here. Did it get any kills? No. He had uh, an armory on the way. Maybe the armory just being started now means he was going to lose, you know, four or five SCVs. And he just wasn't ready to, to handle that. Anyway, guys. 
we're gonna jump into our last game here of the series that was a very quick one let's jump right on into that our final game of this video of the night here we've got royal versus flash last is the name that royal selected here kind of funny uh he chose that name last is like the second best Terran player in the world, even though he hasn't played for a really long time. Um, maybe if he came back today, he wouldn't be nearly as good. Of course, he'd be extremely rusty. But if you take a look at the ASL stats and overall win rates, Last is definitely solidly in that second place spot. Not really even a contest. It's kind of sad that we don't have a lot of these players. Um in the mix anymore but honestly there's so many good names here that players that have gone on to other games and then come back to brood war that we still do have to be really uh grateful for what we have here now royal is gonna open up with a cc first interesting choice here let's see how flash thinks or what flash thinks is best to deal with the CC first because he pulls it out quite a lot in a bunch of different matchups he's not afraid of using it at all so how does he combat it when it uh, happens to him well he's just gonna go ahead start to build Marines here and get the CC for himself as soon as possible take the small hit to the economy or the small uh, disadvantage here and get right into his own CC. I thought he might immediately throw down a uh, gas and try to get into a factory and do something cheeky, but no, he doesn't have any uh, uh, play like that. Instead, he's just going to bring Marines over here, try to get some SCV kills if he can. He gets one. Might just barely be able to get another. Oh, put some damage onto that. A marine there oh he loses his own scv which i mean that kind of cancels out some of the gains that were accrued here but he gets another scv and didn't even pick off another oh target that marine very nicely done great pulling back here from flash um do we have oh, okay scv trying to get a kill over here as uh, stop that cc from building should be able to get one more scv there good target Let's pick that off. Marines are going to head home, I think, now. Oh, okay. Going to still take this fight. Another Marine arrives. Any of these low HP? No, not really. Another SCV goes down. That Marine's going to fall. Some good back and forth here. And in the end, it looks like Flash will come out ahead. Look at that. So Flash showing us exactly what you need to do when your opponent goes CC first. Um... Probably wouldn't have been possible to get this much damage if this had been cross map, for example. But luckily enough, La uh, Royal, sorry, not last. I keep looking at the name. Royal here is going to um, spawn in the top right. Horizontal spawns on Radeon. It's pretty darn close. So he does get a bit of that damage with the first few Marines. And the follow-up's going to be double factory. Triple factory here for Flash, though. Could be a quick vulture war between these two as the machine shop starts on either side. Flash is going to have a little bit of an advantage going into this. He's got an extra SCV. And he's got an extra factory down. Do we have a starport? Yes, we do. Starport here. Coming up. Does lose one marine vulture here is quite low as well you can't be losing that right now well the marines are gonna go down can he get the moving shot okay he picks off the vulture so trading out just a few marines for a vulture pretty worth i would say when we're going for this type of play from flash that's a very nice wall though i really like this wall we're seeing out of royal very hard to get in there Vultures cannot slip by that little crack. Of course, lings and stuff could, but I think vultures here are just going to be blocked out. A tank comes out. He's going for vulture speed, so it'll probably be just straight vultures on four 
factories from here a starport the starport finishes and a wraith is going to be out soon i don't see an armory or an ebay so this could actually be bad okay there's the armory right now and a vulture gonna slip in right here going up into the main right now it's gonna look for an scv killer too if he can but meanwhile flash is going to uh start to hit this natural right now the big old wall here he's gonna go after the egg it looks like try and get into this base Siege mode has started, but it's pretty far away from being complete. Another building gets thrown down here to help to block everything out. Oh, he loses the tank. Great targeting there. Tank goes down on the side of Royal as well. The Wraiths are really starting to bank up kills here. We've got two kills already. Now diving in here with all the Vultures. Flash is going to try and kill as many SUVs as he possibly can. That's a lot of SUV kills, but it's only just barely evened out the count. And we've got more tanks here from Royal. So I still feel like his position is pretty darn good. Do we have Goliaths out finally? Not yet. No more, no Goliaths out here just yet. And I don't think he's been able to finish this. The armory's still not done. Guys, Flash might be out of this, dude. He's having a really hard time. He's still getting kills. He's still picking off SCVs. But he's losing army and he's losing SCVs back at home. Whereas, you know, we're just losing SCVs here as Royal. The army will build. The tank count is there and the wraiths will escape from this uh, Goliath play. Cloak coming right now. It's such a smart move here. Going into Cloak right now. Oh, Vulture's just running in, getting smashed. That is rough. How many kills? Five and three. So eight total kills here. And I, I feel like maybe when the cloak comes in, we might see a GG here. Honestly, this is already so much damage. And we're pretty far away from having a commsat. Another SCV going down. This is a great play by Royal. He lost a lot of SCVs, but he's managed to recoup some of those losses. And he killed a lot of... Flashes SCV is on that side. Maintaining that air dominance really key here. Cloak is about to finish. We do not have commsats here. Academy is not even done yet. If he comes back over and starts to kill more SCVs, I think it would be a great move. Adding on another machine shop now. Flash is not out of this by any means, but he's got a much smaller army and a, and a lot less tech. Here they are. Wraith's Cloak. Start to pick off some SCVs here. And the tanks of Royal are going to start to push forward. I think he got Charon Boosters. I think I saw that upgrade finish. Nope. He does not. No Charon Booster here. <clears throat> and the Wraiths are just going to loop back around. Go look for some more kills in the main... Just the two Goliaths here chasing around these Wraiths all over the bases. Another SCV going to go down here. Nine kill Wraith right now. Nine and five. Fourteen total. That is insane. So much damage from these two Wraiths. And we... I mean, I guess we have uh, enough for another scan here, but... We can actually kill one of these. Oh my god. He's just going to loop back around again. How infuriating here from Royal. I mean, it's time to split the Goliaths up. One in each mineral line, right? We're going to come in here. Another scan should come down. Can he actually get a kill finally? 12 and 6. 12 and 6 right now. Oh, God. He needs five more seconds. He needs five more seconds. Another one. Oh my goodness, 14 kills. Okay, there's some wraiths actually. Wait, where were these wraiths built? What the heck? Oh my god, there's two starports in the middle of the map. I didn't even notice that. That is insanity. Well, these are going to be able to deal with the tanks here in the middle pretty well. These two wraiths are almost out of energy. 
and flash is actually going to force all this back pretty effectively however the ground army is way too big right now for royal how is he ever going to be able to fight that oh really great mine connections there the tanks are still uh pretty good and healthy right now oh don't let that oh my goodness i thought he was gonna let that connect there that was really close but he does an excellent job clearing the middle and i think he's just flipped this game on his on its head i didn't even notice these two starports on the middle of the map that never crossed my mind but this is an amazing move it turns out he's gonna do so much damage to the anti-airless uh royal here i keep trying to say last but correct myself again here two goliaths pop out finally but gg wow there it is guys flash pulls out a sick sick turnaround here he was getting absolutely bent over in that game he lost so many scvs to those two wraiths that was like a 15 kill wraith and a six kill wraith there he goes out in the middle of the map and starts building two starports and brings this game to a victory it's hard to really wrap my mind around right now that he was able to bring this one back in such a fashion and win here at before the 12 minute mark i thought if he manages to bring it back it's going to be a long slog to eventually be able to clutch this one out but no he just comes forward and snaps the neck here of royal and flash dude has he figured out royal already he's taking a bunch of games off of him here after only being back for a couple of days it's so impressive guys thank you so much for watching it's a real pleasure getting to cast these games and having you guys enjoy them just icing on the top cherry on the top icing on the cake Make sure to like and subscribe to the video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.